on now to St. James Park, where we've got Newcastle welcoming Brentford. Uh, don't really look at last week's score there with Newcastle. They were able to take advantage of 10 men full on. That being said, I think they will be the better side, though, here at St. James Park. Uh, question is, will Brentford be able to find the back of the net? That game against Bournemouth this past weekend was 0-0. It was, it was, not only was it goalless, but it was just boring. No real chances created by each of those two sides. I like Newcastle in this spot. I think maybe they could be a good parlay piece this weekend if you're looking for somebody maybe to parlay, somebody that can get a win for you. What about for you? Yeah, just again, just trying to check all the boxes here with, with injury stuff, like maximum trained. He looks like he's 75% chance to go. Um, so he would be a big, big factor for me in this one. Um, I think that Brentford's injury concerns are not as big. Um, mm -hmm. It's weird, weird to see Brentford get blanked last week, Jason. I thought that was interesting. I didn't have a bet on the match, but just, you know, observing from afar really is like, wow, I, to get blanked against uh, Bournemouth is, is a little bit concerning here. Um, I, I would, I would probably just pass this one, to be honest. I think that Newcastle uh, should get the job done. I mean, it is um, – it's at St. James, so that that's that's huge for them. I think that they're a team that you want to be backing at home. So, yeah, it would be home It would be home team or pass for me. So I would just – I just have to see lineups in this one because there are so many question marks. And even last season, you saw two different games being played out. Newcastle with a clean sheet on the road, but then their home fixture saw a 3-3 cracker. Yeah, I just don't quite know what we're going to get here from this Brentford team. So, all right, I'm with you. All right.